Hi, um, I'm Dr. Beth Westy. I just wanted to make a quick video in response to some of the questions. Hopefully I can flip the camera on this and make it work. Um, otherwise I don't want it to look backwards, what I'm gonna be doing. Yes, soy is just not able to digest and this is for human people. I know, yeah, my expertise is in women's health, um, but one of the things I talk about is that for humans, you just can't digest and absorb soy. Um, so does this look backwards to you? It looks okay to me. So when we talk about soy and the size of the proteins, the proteins here are huge. Um, I don't know how to flip the camera. That takes a screenshot, I think. I'm not that cool with this. Okay. Anyway, so the soy proteins here are enormous compared to, so the, this would be your intestines here and then inside of the molecules and everything else. When we talk about proteins in general, soy is just huge. So it just can't be absorbed. So what happens is... When you're looking at this, the soy proteins are so large, it irritates the lining of the intestine and it actually prevents a lot of the other nutrients that are consumed along with it at the same time from being absorbed properly and getting into your bloodstream. So your body just doesn't get those nutrients then. You can be eating all the healthy vitamins you want, you can get all the nutrients that you want, but your body's not gonna actually get it into the bloodstream and get it where it needs to go. Soy just can't be digested that, that well or that easily. Um, in terms of weight gain, if they can tolerate dairy, then whey protein has been proven scientifically with lots and lots of research backing it. Whey protein is the fastest way to put on uh, muscle and increase muscle mass and lean body mass. Um, other than that, if they can't tolerate dairy, there's a lot of other great um, you know, proteins that do not contain soy, pea protein, rice protein, hemp protein, all these other things, very absorbable into the body and can help kind of put on weight. Another thing with kids though, I just posted the recipe, uh, I'll put it on this too, on this reply too, if I, yeah, I think I can figure out how to post it, um, fat bombs for kids. That helps a ton, a ton, a ton. And Pinterest, fat bombs, and there's so many recipes for getting healthy nutrients into your kids. You can make them so many different ways. I make my fat bombs with protein in them because I like to have that extra protein boost for my kids. You can also put vitamins, other nutrients, minerals in the fat bomb as you mix it up. It gets a ton of great healthy stuff in the body for those little ones that are looking to add um, you know, and gain mass. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, and everything. If you have questions, though, you can message me or let me know, okay?